Hey everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me and if you do know me and you're back, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you guys back. Today we are talking about favorites, my current favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in several months. It is definitely time. I have a ton of things to talk to you guys about, all kinds of favorites, fashion favorites, skincare favorites, makeup, snacks. Did I say makeup? I am so out of it today. I apologize in advance. I have tried to like psych myself up for this video, but I'm so tired and out of it. I'm taking new medicine, trying to get started on IVF. This is like the first month, the prep month. So I haven't started all the shots and stuff as I'm recording this right now, but the medicines that I've been on and I've been trying to make some changes in my diet that my doctor said would be helpful for the IVF process, trying to go more low carb, not keto, I repeat, not keto, just reducing carbs, going more low carb. I talked about it in my last vlog, I'm pretty sure. So if you missed that, I talked about it there, but I feel like it's just wiping me out and I feel like I'm just not all here, to be honest with you, but I'm doing my best. We're gonna talk about all my favorites. Let's start with the fashion favorites. <laughs> I put quotes around fashion because I just, I don't know, I can't take myself seriously saying like, oh, these are my fashion favorites. Like these are some comfy clothes I've really been enjoying and I feel like you would enjoy them too because really I have definitely not gotten out of like the comfy clothes mode. Like this is as dressed up as I get. I guess I've worn, you know, my comfy dresses and I've shared a lot of comfy dresses with y'all. I really had to hold myself back from sharing more comfy dresses with you in this video, but I feel like I've talked about those about a hundred thousand times at this point and I just need to stop. What I'm trying to say is comfy clothes is still where it's at for me and that's all I've got to show you. Anyway, first things first, my newest pair of Tevas. I love these so much. I've never seen a cuter pair of Tevas. I've never owned a cuter pair of Tevas. Some people would argue that no pairs of Tevas are ever cute, but I'm just not on that side of life. I think Tevas are cute. They're comfortable. They're very practical. You can wear them anytime. I mean, you can't really dress up Tevas, but I feel like these are really cute. They have a really adorable star design. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got the taupe color. I don't know if this is actual suede down here. Probably not. I don't know. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. I've worn these so much. The only reason why they're not on my feet right now is because I'm showing them to you right now. The stars are everything to me. The stars are the entire reason I'm showing you these right now. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, you can tell. All right, you get it. Okay, next up, I have this very free people ask cami slash sports bra slash crop top. It would definitely hit most people a little bit longer on their torso. Like I said, I'm really tall. I've got a long torso, so it hits me a little bit higher, uh, but it's so comfortable. The one thing I will say is that it comes with those pads in it, uh, which gives you a little bit more coverage if you need it, but I don't feel like you really need it, or at least I don't, and I just took them out because those pads just 99% of the time are so unflattering, especially in like a very flat situation like this. You can usually see the outline and it's just not cute. So I just pulled them out. I don't miss them at all. I actually only have this kind of army green olive color and I've been eyeing the other colors because it comes in a bunch of different colors. I believe this was $20 and it definitely looks like something that you get from free people, like their movement or workout line, but it's only $20, which I love. Next up, I have talked to you guys about these before on my Instagram story and also on my vlogs, but it's a favorites video. I have to talk about these because I wear these every other day. Every other day that I'm not wearing the neck shorts that I'm gonna show you, these are my Funfetti shorts. I found these just by chance, ordered them, and I actually just thought they were kind of like an off-white oatmeal color, but when they came, I discovered they are actually like a Funfetti color material, and I'm absolutely in love with them. Not only are they a really fun color, a really cute material, but they're super, super soft, and they fit so comfortably. They're not too short. They don't squeeze me anywhere. They're not too warm to wear in the summer. It is really, really hot outside at this point in Dallas. I'm not really running around at all at this point, but just wearing them around the house, like it is hard for me to take these shorts off. I love these shorts so, so much, but I will say I have noticed that these have gone in and out of stock multiple times since I've gotten them because I've linked them for people because they keep asking about these shorts because they are just that good. So if you see them and they're not in stock, just like add it to your wish list or I don't know, add it to your cart or something like that and wait until it comes back because 
they are worth it. Okay, next up, this is a super, super comfy bralette option. I got a two pack. I got black and that kind of army green olive color. And these are so comfortable and they're made of that material that is just like that forever material. It is never going to turn on you. They've got kind of like that spandex feel to them, almost like leggings and they're just so comfortable. It's like you're not wearing anything. And I love to wear these under t-shirts, really under anything, just lounging around the house, running out for a quick errand or something like that. They're just so super comfortable. You can get them in two packs with different colors or you can get them in single packs. I think for the two pack, it was like $29. I love these and I've definitely been looking at the other colors. And just like the other cami sports bra top, I pulled out those cups that come inside because again, and they were just not flattering. They were really stiff and you could see the outline. I just don't think they're needed and really it ruins the whole look of the thing. I haven't really worn these on their own. I've just worn them as a bralette under something, but you probably totally could, but you wouldn't want to with those little, basically like shoulder pads stuck in the cups. Not cute. I don't know why they even do that at this point. Just like forget about it. We don't need it. I have strong feelings about it, obviously. Okay, the last piece of clothing, and I will make this short because I have talked about these 100,000 times. I think I actually mentioned these shorts maybe in my last Amazon favorites video, and I complained that they didn't have any other colors. Well, I think they heard me. I know they did not hear me. No one is listening, but they came out with more colors and I was all over that. They came out with a green color. It's that heathered kind of material, so it's like green mixed with gray and black. And they also have navy and they also have black. Again, these sell out really quick and then they come back and they sell out and they come back. So you kind of have to keep your eyes peeled, but they're totally worth it because they're so super comfortable. I feel like they're like comfy. I've given up on life shorts in the front. And then in the back, it really like defines your booty. And even if you don't have a booty like me, it kind of makes it seem like maybe you have one. So totally worth it. You just gotta believe me. Okay, so that's everything for my comfy clothes favorites. I do feel like I need to mention this necklace that I'm wearing. I've gotten so many questions about this necklace on Instagram because I'm wearing it constantly lately. It's from Free People and it's the whole layered eclectic necklace look, but it's all in one necklace. It's like the perfect mindless option. Just throw it on with literally anything and it really looks like you're trying but you're absolutely not. And it comes in a lot of different options. I have the gold and silver mixed option, which I think is really nice. It just adds to the whole eclectic look, but you can also get it in all gold, all silver or brass. I don't know. There's a bunch of different options and I'll link it down below. I think you can scroll over all the color options all on one page. And I think it was only like 35, maybe $30 totally worth it. And it's been my go-to lately, basically every day. Okay. Next up we have skincare or makeup. Let's do skincare. All right. First up for the skincare, this stuff has changed my skin. And I do not say that lightly. I don't say that about everything. I don't bust out new skincare favorites every day hardly ever. I am very picky about skincare stuff. I did a skincare routine video, I don't know, within the last year. And I felt very confident about that. That had been my set skincare routine for a very long time. And I just don't switch it up very often. And I have two products, this one and the next one that I really feel have made a huge difference in my skin. I was getting very sad about my skin and I was really bummed out and I felt like there was nothing I could do, especially since we've been trying to get pregnant. I'm getting Getting started on IVF. I don't want to use stuff that's super, super harsh on my skin. I'm stepping away from using Retin-A. Obviously, I haven't been using it in a very long time and my skin really misses it. And this stuff has saved the day. It has made such a huge difference. I haven't even told you what it is. It's the Paula's Choice Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It unclogs and shrinks in large pores. I don't think it shrinks pores. I think that a lot of products kind of sell you on shrinking your pores. I don't think it shrinks your pores, but it does unclog pores. Smooths an even skin tone. It definitely smooths. It's a lightweight liquid that absorbs quickly, and that is absolutely true. So I don't know. I always think of this as a toner. It's not really a toner. It's just a liquid treatment. You just drop it out onto a cotton pad. It's super, super lightweight. I mostly just use it at night. It does say on here that you can use it in the morning and at night. I don't usually use it in the morning, just at night, and I don't use it every day, but especially right here and on my nose, on my nose, crazy blackheads. I never really had that 
in high school or even in my early 20s or anything, but for some reason, blackheads are the new normal in my life. Blackheads here and on my chin, and this stuff has improved it so, so much. And then on top of that, a lot of texture here, and I've had that for quite a while. That really started around when I was getting um, my lupus symptoms, and I had a lot of like rough texture here, and I feel like it just led to a lot more texture that wasn't really lupus related. I think it was because of products I was using. I really had no idea what it was about. I have a bad problem with milia and this has helped so much. My skin is noticeably smoother and this I believe is under $30. I can't remember exactly how much. I did order it from Amazon. It's available other places, but I love that it was available and I could just get it in two days. I've heard about this product multiple times from multiple people. I don't know who I heard about it from first. It was either Taylor Wynn or Jessica Braun. Thank you so much. I know I'm raving about it like crazy. And actually I do also have to say, this is a salicylic acid and I'm not sure if that is 100% safe during pregnancy. So don't attack me. I'm not pregnant right now. So it is safe for me to use it right now. I do feel like I need to ask my doctor about it because I've seen conflicting things online, but just throwing that out there. I love this stuff so much. And the next product that I've really been loving that I also attribute to saving my skin, not saving my skin, but improving my skin greatly, the texture especially, and the milia situation. I do still have milia, but when I would take pictures of maybe like lashes or whatever, close up makeup type thing, if I was doing a video, I would see the texture of my skin and feel the texture of my skin and be like, what happened? It did not used to be like that. I mean, obviously I'm getting older, things change, your skin is not perfect angel baby skin forever and ever, but I was just getting so bummed out about it and I didn't know what I should do because I really trusted all the products that I was using, but I knew I needed to make a change. But then one day, a couple of months ago, like, do you like how I'm like turning this into like a full story time? But then one day I saw this on Laura's story. Her handle is Miss Lola Lynn. She recommended this and she said it worked really well for her Melia. And I was like, sign me up. I need this right now. Plus it's only $10, so very little risk involved in this. It's the Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil, and it's an antioxidant rich facial oil that delivers natural vitamin A and helps restore skin elasticity. So like I said, taking a huge step back from Retin-A, can't do that when you're trying to get pregnant, can't do that when you're pregnant, so obviously it's off limits, but this is a natural, kind of version of Retin-A and it is okay to use whenever you're trying to get pregnant or at least that's what I've read. Please don't kill me if I'm wrong. I use it before bedtime almost every single day in place of a moisturizer. I talked to Laura about it and she said it had done wonders for her milia. Back when I talked to her, she had totally taken out moisturizer and was just relying on this. Sometimes I mix in my facial self tanning oil in with this. It doesn't seem to bother my skin at all. This one and this one together, I really think have made a huge difference in my skin and neither of them are super expensive. So that's amazing. I'm getting heated up ranting and raving about skincare products. Okay, next up, like I said, no more lash extensions for me and I have gone back to my little bit of waterproof mascara to keep my lashes curled and I have been reminded how difficult it is to take that mascara off. And I've been using the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Melting Balm, and I really, really love this. This is a pretty tiny tub, and it's lasted me for a really, really long time. And I'm at the last little bit of it. I need to repurchase it. I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it. I really, really like it. It works really well, and it takes everything off really easily. I went back and I was using like the waterproof makeup version of the Garnier Micellar Water because I, I remembered that worked well for me and for whatever reason, it wasn't really working very well for me. It was kind of annoying. It was keeping my eyes really oily and goopy and I hated that. Uh, so I started using this and I've been really, really happy with it. Next up, I'm not really sure if nail polish belongs in skincare or makeup. So we're just gonna do it right now. 
This has been my new obsession as far as nail polish. You guys know I kind of get stuck on a certain nail polish and won't get off of it for like a year at a time. I discovered the Static Nails nail polish brand from my friend Georgetta. She just texted me one day and she's like, have you heard about this? It stays on so long. It's so amazing. They have all these different colors. And I definitely think she would even say herself, she's pretty picky when it comes to nail polish. She really has very high standards whenever she goes and gets them done. She usually does as gel I'm pretty sure so when she said this lasts a really long time and she was impressed with it I knew I had to try it so I got the primer I got the top coat because apparently you have to get all three parts of the system and then I started with Hampton Social this was the first color that I got it's kind of like a muted gray and it almost has a little bit of a lilac tone too and this was so good for me I wore it every day for at least a month and then I started ordering more colors and I went in and got even more pastel colors. They stay on so well. They stay on for at least a week. And at about a week, you'll notice a little bit of chipping like here. You'll see I've had them on for a week here. I don't know if you can see that little chip there on my middle finger. It's not that bad. I can definitely put up with that. My nails are not very cute. I'm sorry about that. It's all on me. I tend to like chomp the sides of my nails, not my nails, but the skin around my nails. Not cute, I know. But I at least make an attempt to keep my nail polish looking good. And I don't like to do it super often. I like to do my nails once a week and only once a week. If they're chipped and it hasn't been a week, oh well, my nails are gonna be chipped until it's been a week. I just don't give it that much attention in my life. And I don't have space for many days of manicures at my house, like, no thank you. Anyway, obviously I'm obsessed. I have not like a code, but there's a like a referral link anybody can get it. I have no connection to this company whatsoever, but if you have an account, you can like get an invite a friend link. And if you use the link, I think you get 15% off and then it gives me like a $6 coupon and you can't combine the coupon. So it's really ridiculous. I'm probably, I have so many $6 coupons at this point, but you can only use them alone. It's kind of ridiculous. But if you're interested in a little discount, I'll put that link in the description. It's there if you want it, cause it's kind of pricey, but I can see why. Let's move on into makeup for real this time. This is the foundation I've been wearing today. And every single time I've been wearing foundation for the past, I don't know, two, three months, I have really, really, really been enjoying it. It is the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer, which I think is so ridiculous. <laughs> this is not a moisturizer. This is a foundation. This is just ridiculous marketing in my opinion. I like the foundation, but I don't understand the name of this. Uh, it's the oil-free matte version. It has SPF 50 and it's by It Cosmetics. Did I say that? I have really been enjoying this, but I feel like it almost goes without saying. I haven't been wearing foundation as much as I usually would because obviously we're just staying home more than anything. And I've really just been doing more spot treatment with concealer and then going over with some powder and just doing a very minimal face makeup routine. But when I do want some coverage and I do wanna do like a look like today, this is what I go to and I've been really, really impressed with it. And I'm actually running pretty low at this point. I have the color light medium and I feel like it works pretty well for me. Okay, next up I have two lash products. I feel like lash videos and lash content have become like an unofficial series on my channel just because I feel like we've been through quite a lot with my lashes in the last, I don't know, three, four months. We took off my lash extensions. We tried an at-home lash perm. I did my whole mascara showdown trying to search for the best mascara out of your top five mascaras. That was a fun video. But now, even more when it comes to lashes, I have been trying to hone my routine, find my favorite stuff to make my lashes look the way that I want them to, obviously without lash extensions. I really feel like I've stepped away from it. Like in a way I miss it, but in many, many more ways, I don't miss it. I don't miss the money. I don't miss the time. I do miss the girl that did my lashes because she was so sweet and so fun and I loved talking to her. But I've been trying to embrace my natural lashes and my lashes are very, very straight and very stuck. So the two discoveries that I've made that have really changed my lash life are these two curlers. First, this is the Shiseido lash curler. It's just a traditional lash curler. I never knew that just a regular curler could be better than another one. I had always heard, I think, of this one as kind of like a cult favorite, but I just didn't believe the hype. I was like, it's a lash curler. It just costs more. Like, how can it be so much better? But no, 
I was wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong. This one is so much better. If you have very stubborn lashes, if you've been pinched by lash curlers, this one is so good. I don't know if it works better with my eye shape or with straight lashes. I don't know what it is that makes it different because it looks so similar to every other lash curler that I've ever used, but it is so much better and I will never use another lash curler. I said it, it's official. And the other lash curler, which you'd be like, okay, you just said that was the best lash curler you've ever used. Why do you need another one? I don't know. I don't need another one. I just wanted another one. <laughs> I got a comment on my mascara video about a rechargeable heated lash curler on Amazon. And I don't think this is the exact one that she was talking about, but it sparked my interest and I looked up rechargeable heated lash curlers because I've tried heated lash curlers in the past I've tried them many times and they just always lost power so quickly. They suck down batteries so easily and they just never really worked their way into my routine, even though I saw the benefits. So the fact that this one recharges really, really sold me. It wasn't super expensive. I think it was definitely under $20. Prices change on Amazon, so I can't say for sure, but when I bought it, it was definitely under $20. And I wanna say this is like double the length of the wand on any heated lash curl that I ever tried before. It heats up in under a minute, it heats up in no time, and I think it adds probably like 45 seconds to my makeup routine when I'm doing my lashes. And usually I will curl it with my Shiseido curler, then go in with this. If you've watched any mascara videos with me, if you've seen my lashes up close, you'll know since my lashes are so straight, they tend to get kind of wonky whenever I curl them. They can get kind of some weird twists and turns that really aren't supposed to be there when you have just nice curled lashes. And the really amazing thing about this heated lash curler is that it kind of straightens it out and it kind of makes it look like my lashes are naturally curly, which is a thing that has never been a thing in my life. And it's really, really, really nice. It's not something that's absolutely essential to my routine. I could totally skip it and it would be fine. But since I've discovered it, I've really, really been enjoying doing it. Okay, you gotta forgive me one last lash product. This is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. This is a little mini baby travel size. I got it as like an add-on sample or there was like a coupon code or something like that when I did a Sephora order and I got this. I'm pretty sure this has been around forever and I've heard about it so many times. I've heard so many people say it's amazing but I never wanted to spend the money because Lancome tends to be a little more on the expensive side and I just never felt like I needed it but I decided to try it and I do not regret it. It's a lash primer that adds thickness and fullness and length and it can get a little crazy, especially when my lashes tend to be a little crazy. Like today, I'm kind of having a bad lash day. Most people have bad hair days. I get to enjoy bad hair days and bad lash days because sometimes my lashes just go all over the place and this just kind of intensifies that. But when I'm having a good lash day, this intensifies good lashes and I feel like it lengthens them majorly. It helps with volume. I do have to be a little bit careful. A little bit goes a long way, but I do really, really love this. And I definitely think I'll be purchasing the full size when I run out of this little baby sample size. Okay, I kind of feel like this video has been a hundred hours long, but we finally arrived to our last favorite section and it's snacks. I don't know if I've ever done a snacks favorite section, but here we are. The first snack favorite I need to highlight, I've been meaning to talk to you about these for a long time. We started getting them a few months ago. Grant discovered them. They're called Chalk XO Keto Snaps and they're dark chocolate with coconut and almonds and sea salt and they are so good. This is just like a mini square of chocolate. I just need a little chocolate basically every day. And this little bar breaks up into four pieces and it's so good. It's not that kind of like super healthy dark chocolate that just tastes awful. I mean, have you had that? I guess it's like an acquired taste, but I cannot get into it. That like 99% dark chocolate, no thank you. I know it's healthy, I just can't do it. I can, however, do this. It has such a good flavor. I love the mix of the coconut, the almonds, the sea salt. They're just so yummy. I'm pretty sure we got these from Costco. You can probably get them other places online. I'll look and I'll put a link in the description, but these are so good. And again, I'm not doing keto, but I am focusing on low carb, but we've been eating these for far longer than we've been trying to do low carb, but this just fits perfectly into 
the new thing we're doing now. Okay, and the last snack favorite, I don't have in front of me because it's in the refrigerator and I'm trying to preserve the last bits that I have. I've talked about this on my Instagram story before because I am so crazy about this. I'll put a picture of the container on the screen so you can see. I'm pretty sure the brand is Palmetto, but it is jalapeno pimento cheese. And my whole life, I have never liked pimento cheese. I'm honestly not a huge, huge cheese person. I know many of you guys are gonna freak out about that because I feel like people that love cheese are kind of the people that are like, how could you not love cheese? You know, like kind of crazy about it. But for whatever reason, I've just never liked pimento cheese. My mom used to always try to give me pimento cheese sandwiches and I was like, no, never, I can't do it. But this pimento cheese is a different thing. I don't know if I've just grown up and my taste buds have matured, I've become a woman and I like pimento cheese now, or this pimento cheese is just far, far superior. And I'm kind of leaning towards that. I'm pretty sure we found it again at Costco. It is so, so good. And obviously now trying low carb, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge to find things to dip it in. It is just so good. And it's unlike any other pimento cheese that I've ever tried before. It's absolutely worth trying. If you see it in your Costco, it is just so tasty. You could put it on many, many things, or you could just dip it and eat it like that. You could eat it with a spoon as far as I'm concerned because it is so good. Okay, I'm having problems with my overalls at this point. I feel like that is a sign I need to finish up this video. Uh, the weird thing about this favorites video is I don't have any podcasts to share. Usually in my favorites videos, I have a ton of new podcasts that I've been listening to to share, but for whatever reason, during this whole stay at home period, I have just completely fallen off with podcasts. I don't know why. Maybe it's just I've been deeper into the news and taking in a lot of that and that's been taking a lot of my focus and a lot of my attention and I don't know, I just don't have that extreme thirst for true crime content. The only one that I pretty much stayed current with is True Crime Obsessed. You guys know how I feel about True Crime Obsessed. That podcast is so good. I've raved about it a hundred thousand times. Patrick and Jillian, they're just so funny and so wonderful. They're just like a bright spot in the whole true crime podcast world, in my opinion. I subscribe to their Patreon, like I am a fan. <laughs> You guys already know. But other than that, I've just fallen out and I have not discovered new podcasts. So I feel like there's really something huge missing in this favorites video and I'm sorry if you're here for the podcast, but I wanted to ask you guys, what are the podcasts that you guys have been listening to, true crime or otherwise? Like other than like the big ones, like I don't wanna hear about Crime Junkie or like My Favorite Murder, like we know about those. But like other than that, new series, if there are any that you guys wanna recommend to me, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Other than that, let me know. What have you guys been loving? If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. You can find me everywhere on social media. It's Leanne Says. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. The Ice Cream Man is playing Christmas carols right now. It's like 100 degrees. You'll love to see it. Also, I'm kind of sweating. I don't love to see it. I feel like I've been talking for 500 hours. My overalls are all messed up. I don't know how the show will go on today.